Today I'm going to share with you some tips for improving the texture of your skin, for improving the appearance of your pores, for lifting off some hyperpigmentation, and most importantly, for helping to combat and possibly treat breakouts that you can get from wearing a mask. So if you are new here, I do hope that you will consider subscribing. My name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon, and I'm excited that you're here today because this seems to be a pretty big issue for a lot of people, myself included. So I'm excited to share some of my tips and tricks with you today. Tip number one is to properly cleanse your skin at night. Now, regardless of whether you're wearing makeup or you're not wearing makeup, I hope that you are wearing sunscreen on a daily basis. And sunscreen along with sebum and sweat and debris can get trapped, especially when you wear a mask and cause an environment where we can get breakouts. So what I'm gonna suggest to you is to double cleanse. And if you're not familiar with double cleansing, it's simple. It just means use a balm-like cleanser or an oil cleanser to loosen up the debris, loosen up the sunscreen, the makeup, the sweat, and the sebum, and all of that stuff so that you can then go in with a second cleanse of a gentle pH-balanced cleanser and rinse it all away. Now that's gonna prepare your skin so that there isn't any leftover gunk possibly sitting there inviting bacteria to cause blemishes. So cleansing, even though it is not as sexy as a lot of these treatments that we do all the time, it is right up there with the importance of sunscreen. I mean, there, sunscreen is number one for sure, but a good cleansing routine is one of those basics that can make a really big difference in your skin. And it can make a big difference in the clarity and the overall appearance of your skin. Because if you have a lot of really tiny, tiny blackheads, your skin can appear dull. So when you do a double cleanse, you are often loosening up a lot of that stuff that gets trapped that causes that congestion, which in turn causes you to look dull. So I cannot emphasize enough, especially in the situation we're in with wearing masks, how important a double cleanse is at night. Now my tip number two is to exfoliate. Now we all know that you can do exfoliation with an acid tone. Owner. I'm going to recommend to you that you step it up a notch during this time to a peel pad. Now these are micro peels. You're not actually going to cause yourself to flake or to peel. You're just going to get a strong exfoliation. Now a lot of these peel pads say that they're daily and I recommend that you use them maybe once or twice a week rather than daily. The one that I'm going to recommend, I have two that I'm going to recommend to you. This one I've used for years. It is the Dr. Dennis gross. This is the alpha beta daily peel pad. This is the extra strength. It comes in different strengths. I really do like the universal and basically they have a strength for everyone. And Skin Store sent me this. It's not sponsored and they are not paying me, but they did send me this product. I've used it for years on my own and I really, really like it. It's probably one of the closest that you're going to get to going in office and getting a really light chemical peel. It's very, very, very light. And like I said, there is no actual peeling. You're going to get a micro peel where the surface of your skin is going to get exfoliated and debris is definitely going to get loosened up and you're going to see more clarity. It's going to help with your hyperpigmentation if you have any. And it also can help to keep your area free of excess debris, which can contribute to breakouts, especially underneath a mask. The way that this works is it's two steps. The first peel pad has several alpha hydroxy acids. It has glycolic and it has lactic, it has malic and mandelic. And then it also has salicylic acid. Now salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid. And the reason why that one is so important when we're talking about breaking out under a mask is because it loves oil and it's going to help to disencrust your follicle, the pore lining, and help to dislodge debris so that when you use the second pad, you're going to get rid of some of that debris, but also just in your everyday cleansing routine, debris will be loosened up so it's able to come off more expeditiously and not sit there possibly causing you breakouts. Super, super important to keep your pores clear to prevent future breakouts. Now, the step number two 
is packed with antioxidants. So it's got resveratrol, it's got Q10, it has vitamin C. It is just a fantastic way to, after you've exfoliated the surface, so you've prepped the surface and removed any kind of hurdle, then you're gonna infuse with antioxidants. What that's gonna do for you is that's gonna help brighten your skin. It's gonna help with hyperpigmentation, which is browns, but it can also help with the reds that are left behind after acne marks. Vitamin C is great to help with post-inflammatory erythema, which is pink marks left after acne, but it's also great for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which are the brown marks that are left after acne. So these kind of little at-home peels are fantastic. Now I have to point out that they do contain alcohol. This is one of those instances where alcohol is actually a really beneficial ingredient. Now, first of all, what you need to know is when we do peels in office, we do a degreasing step that's typically with alcohol. And part of the reason why we're doing that is we want to get a nice even peel and we want to do something called degrease the skin. When we degrease the skin, we're basically removing the surface oils so there's no impedance to all of those fantastic alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids to do their job really efficiently and really evenly. The other thing that alcohol is doing in peel pads like this, because you will often see alcohol in these, and I understand that it's an immediate red flag. We think, oh, no alcohol. I don't love alcohol either, but it does have a second purpose in these kind of pads. Alcohol actually helps to solubilize salicylic acid. So salicylic acid is a crystal typically, and just like benzoyl peroxide is typically a crystal. Well, alcohol will help to keep that solubilized and in liquid form, which is what you want it to be in, in the peel pad. So it's actually a really important ingredient in here. That's also though another reason why I don't recommend these absolutely every single day Day, even though they say daily peel pads. I also suggest that you use these at night, not during in the morning. And I, you always have to wear sunscreen anytime you step up your exfoliation or even when you're just using alpha hydroxy acid toners and whatnot, you got to make sure that you wear sunscreen during the day because it does make your skin a little bit more susceptible to sun damage. So you want to be careful with that. These are fantastic. And I want to say thank you to Skin store for sending those to me. Like I said, not sponsored. They're not paying me. They did send those to me and I love them. I want to give you a second recommendation because this one is a little bit lighter or more gentle than the Dr. Dennis Gross. And I've talked about these, you guys, for a few years now on this channel. These are the Derma Doctor Cockadoo C. Now these are a one step peel. There's no second step. And the way that you do these is you actually apply this on clean, dry skin. You let it sit for a minute to three minutes and then you rinse it away. Now these are glycolic and lactic acid and then they have a couple other alpha hydroxy acids and they do have willow bark and that's going to help with disincrustation of your you know, follicles and pores. These also have vitamin C in the form of cockadoo plum, which is a really, really profound antioxidant. They have vitamin vitamin E and ferulic acid in there as well. And if you don't know, vitamin E and ferulic acid are also antioxidants that work really, really well with L ascorbic acid with vitamin C. They all boost each other a little bit. So when you see those three ingredients together, it's a really great antioxidant cocktail. So these are nice. They're a little bit more gentle. I would still say only a couple times a week, but if you are looking to brighten your skin, you are looking to help get rid of some hyperpigmentation you're trying to lighten up some acne marks, whether they're pink or they're brown, and you're looking for some textural changes, these can be really, really helpful or the Dr. Dennis Gross. Now, if you have other recommendations of peel pads that you absolutely love, leave them in the comment section. I am always looking for recommendations and I love these. So that is my tip number two. Tip number three is going to be if you do experience some breakouts, that you try the acne patches. Now, normally I would reach for my high frequency device right away and get after a pimple if I got it, 
But recently I got a couple really terrible <laughs> pimples, really, really bad to the point where my husband actually said, what did you do to your chin? He's not used to seeing it. I got one of those underground that hurts really, really bad. And then I couldn't keep my hands off it. I was in a complete do as I say, not as I do moment. And I just went to town and I created this alien on my chin. It was so red, so inflamed, so angry. And I ran out to Sephora, thankfully with a mask on so nobody could see the alien on my chin. And I picked up these peace patches. Now these are half a percent of salicylic acid and they are a little, as the name would apply, they are a little dot that you put right over a pimple. Now what I did was I came right home from Sephora. I picked those up and I also got, I will show you guys, I got some of the microneedle patches. I was kind of in a desperate moment because it seriously was the worst pimple that I've had in a really long time. And I will say, I am not acne prone and I know that I probably ended up with that pimple. Uh, it was probably some kind of a mechanical situation from the you know friction of the mask and just the humidity of wearing the mask and dirt, debris, makeup, all of that stuff caused the environment where I've been getting some pimples. And I know there's probably other people like me that are not used to getting pimples, that are getting pimples right now because of these masks. So I came home, washed my face, and put one of these on my clean, dry blemish that was crazy angry. I wish now that I had taken a picture, even though it was not pretty. Now, I went to bed that night, and when I got up in the morning, I am not exaggerating when I tell you that it was probably 70% less red and more flat. It was an incredible improvement. It was not gone. It definitely wasn't gone. It, it, we're three days later and I still have it now. So wasn't gone, but it was such an improvement that I felt like, okay, I don't look like a crazy person. I then put one of these on. Now this is by Dr. Jart and these are those micro needle little, little uh, patches. Now the micro needles in these patches are minuscule. You can barely see them. They look like little dots. This has hyaluronic acid in it. So the deal with that is that you're gonna put it on the pimple and it's going to hydrate. That's what hyaluronic acid does. Help with the barrier and whatnot so that the pimple can heal. The other thing that is happening here is that you're also protecting that blemish or wound, if you will, from outside bacteria, et cetera, getting in. And you're also protecting from you putting your fingers on that pimple. And that is one of the biggest things that we can do. Our fingers, whether or not you're washing or not, have stuff that we do not want to introduce into a pimple. So about two hours later, I took this off and I'd say it was probably another 10% down completely to the point where I could tell I was on the way to healing and it wasn't even 24 hours later. Now, Again, it wasn't gone and, and it's gonna take days, but it flattened it so much that you couldn't really tell it was there if I wanted to cover it up or whatnot. So for me, I was like, wow. So I took to my Facebook group, shared a second day picture with them and asked for their recommendations and my friends in that group did not disappoint. I ordered so many of these to test out you guys that I will probably do an entire video after I've had a chance to test a bunch of these. They range from salicylic acid, which is fantastic as a medication for a pimple for reasons that we've already discussed to help disencrust and it's anti-inflammatory. So it's going to help take the inflammation down. And of course it's antibacterial. So it's going to help to, you know, create an environment that's not good for the bacteria that's creating the pimple. But some of these also have tea tree and they have Sika. And then some of them are just hydrocolloid, colloid. That is such a hard word to say, you guys. Basically, they're almost like those blister patches. And you put them over a cleaned blemish. And what they're going to do is they're going to draw the toxins out, the pus and the that's in there, but they're also going to protect the blemish from outside stuff getting in. And that is almost as important. Our body is amazing at healing itself, especially if we protect it. So I will be bringing you guys some recommendations. They aren't expensive and I'm super, super excited because recently wearing that mask, I'm kind of regularly breaking out with little pimples, not necessarily the crazy one that I got on my chin, enough to wear if I could just get them to go away fast, I feel like my complexion would look better. So hopefully that little tip might help you as well. Tip number four is going to be to 
take it easy on your skincare during the day. I am totally guilty of using a gazillion things, you know, several serums and moisturizers and just layering sunscreens and all of that stuff. In this moment where we are wearing a mask and that environment under the mask is going to be humid and it's trapping stuff in, I really, really recommend that we take our skincare down a notch. So not layering a bunch of stuff and certainly not layering actives. When you have the mask on, you're actually creating an environment that can really amplify actives. So keep your actives at night and your simple non-comedogenic skincare during the day. Of course, I still recommend that you wear sunscreen. For sure, you should still wear sunscreen. If you can get away with not wearing makeup, that's of course the best thing that you can do. I know some of you are going to wear makeup because you're gonna take that mask on and off and you wanna have makeup on. So just be sure that you do that double cleanse at night. Now my fifth and final tip is something that I already know, but I read a little quote that I'm gonna share with you. You need to regularly wash your mask. I'm not talking about the N95s. I'm not talking about, you know, the paper masks, of course. I'm talking about the cloth masks. And a lot of um, suggestions are for cotton, 100% cotton masks, if you are wearing a cloth type mask. You need to wash that mask like it's your underwear. That's the quote that I, I read somewhere. I should have written it down where I read it, but it stuck with me. That's how often you need to be washing those masks as if they were your underwear. Think about what is up against that mask. Skincare and sunscreen and possibly makeup and sebum and sweat and skin cells and whatnot. You don't wanna put that on over and over without washing it. So I highly recommend that you wash it with, you know, really gentle laundry detergent, avoiding, you know, harsh soaps if you can. And yeah, wash it regularly. Maybe have a few that you can rotate so that you can wash your mask on a very, very regular basis. So those are my five tips. Hopefully that is helpful for some of you. Really, those people out there that I'm hoping this can help or give an aha moment are those of you who are like me, who are not used to breaking out, so we don't have all of the you know, blemish tools in our arsenal. Those acne patches are fantastic just to have on hand to knock out a pimple like that. So I'll be excited to bring you that video. And I'm telling you, take your exfoliation to the next level. The Dr. Dennis Gross pads that Skin Store sent me, they are 25% off because I am a Skin Store expert and they sent these to me and they offered for me to offer to you 25% off on these. I will link them in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you stay safe and I hope that you stay healthy. I hope you have clear skin days and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.